in another episode of the show, we got uh, Grandpa done got some. What's it, say say what this is called? Grolex. Grolex. I don't know what it is. Grolex. Pronounced. Grolex. 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 It's from Holland. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's what we know. <laughs> so uh, this is a premium lager. <laughs> yes, sir. There you go. This, it, it doesn't have like a little regular. It's just a great bottle. That has like a sticker in the center. Or you know, it's um. Oh, everything's on the top. What's on the top? What's, what all the stuff is. Like, you normally know, have the, you know, have the sticker. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, green. I see. I didn't notice that. It's they used a, to have one of those um, clip tops, you know? Yeah. You, you remember? Are you ever drink this before? I, no, I've never. I don't but even know what this a, is. You used to have a little top flipped up. They done changed it now. Yeah. Yeah. Ingredients, water, malted barley, and hops. It's beer. It's beer, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's let's, let's let's see what this is. Let's see if I it's think that's twist top. Call. This is not a twist top. This is a, this requires a bottle opener. There so you go. One second. Give 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 him some stuff while I get the bottle opener, Grandpa. What you say? Give him some stuff, some razzle dazzle. I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah keep keep him interested. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well you don't said the important part. That was there was no label on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm yeah. back. And they have it up at the top with the. Ingredients is and yeah, this is I can't different. read it. This is completely so different. My glasses off, but I can't even see that. There you go. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Let's get mine going. This is interesting. Yeah, right. I'm surprised. I never, I didn't even notice there was no label on it. In fact, I yeah, know. this is from Holland. Yeah, they didn't change the uh, bottle. I have never seen this before. This, no? this is interesting. Oh, it, it is. Very, very good. I'm very excited. Good. What do you think? What do you, what do you, what do you, oh, what's your pre-ranking of it? Oh, we, are, we automatically give it a 5.5. Five, automatically? Well, come on, we got to switch up. Are you sure? I'm positive. 5.5 five, five to start with. 5.5. Five. Yes, sir. So what is your... Uh, have you, so you've had this before, right? Yeah. I've had okay. A well, long time ago, I forgot. You know, when, was, when, when thinking, was a long time ago? Oh, it might be a few years ago. few? So it's a longer few. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so I got to say, I... Does the time it, it period involve 19 in it? It left fond memories, you know. Okay, okay. Of the taste, so I'm assuming that it's the same taste that it was a couple of years ago, you know. All right, well, we'll go by that. So let's, uh, let's give it a quick tour there. Well, let's, you know, you're going to put a little head on that beer there? Yeah, you know, I was just getting it in there yeah, first. I'm going to try it too, put a little head on it, see what happens. Yeah, I think I got it perfect this time. Oh, yeah. Oh, you pour, pour the whole bottle in there. Yeah, I always pour the whole bottle. Look oh, at you that. do? Yeah. You make me a little head on there. Okay. You got to look, straighten the glass. You got to yeah. straighten it. You yeah. Go. There you go. There you go. Now you, now you oh, get there. I got, I got the right kind of head. You got too much head there. Oh, Don't okay. You think? Well, I mean, it's going to settle. Yeah, I know it's going to settle, but it ain't going to look. It don't look like a... No, it doesn't. Yeah. I, I was trying to get to the top, but, you oh, know, okay. I got overzealous. <laughs> Yes. Well, let's see here. So we get, let's uh, let's give it a little quick smell. Or whatever. No, oh, so much man, smell. that's that that aroma. Yeah, that, what's that aroma like? Oh man, that's a that's European all the way. Yeah. <laughs> European, it's a European aroma. That's European uh, aroma all the way. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay well, I think I'm the uh, the taste should be as good as the smell. Five percent, right? five percent alcohol too. It is. Yeah, that's, oh, okay. that's interesting. Oh, I don't know if it's interesting. I mean, I, normally we see it's five percent the normal. That's normal, right? I want to say yeah, it's normal. Yeah, I'd say normal. Yeah, so, like you're, we, we were you're, between you're, normally, four, normally, normally we were between four and a half and five percent, weren't we? Yeah, no, I mean I've seen beers we've had that has been as low as like three, I think, or something. <laughs> oh maybe, yeah, maybe oh, I'm misremembering. Yeah, yeah. All right, well let's let's give it. Yeah. All right, there you go. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's an interesting taste. Let me get a little more of that. I'm trying to. I, I know it. I, I in the back of my mind, I know what it tastes like to me, but I don't remember the name for that. Is yeah. Okay. Mm. It's gonna come to me. Yeah, it's, it's kind of. But it's, it's, it's a familiar. It's a familiar taste. Yeah. But the, the first sip of it, you know, almost went down on the grade there. Really? What's the point? But um, the second sip, it brought it back to 5.5. Five, mm. <laughs> five mm. and a half. Interesting. Interesting. So when did this 
So when was your first encounter with this beer? Apparently this beer came out in 1615. So, That's when the beer came out. Yeah, since 1615. That's a long time ago. Sure is. Yeah, I don't think it's 15. That's that 400 years, ain't it? Almost. That's, uh, four, that's 405 no, no. years ago. No, no that's more than 405. No, it ain't, it ain't, that's 445 years ago. It ain't even 400 years. No, it is. It's 400. Wait, so 1619. It's, so it's, it's 2020, right? So it's I was right. It was 405 years ago. Huh? It was 405 years ago. Because no. it's 2020. Yeah. So, it's 1614. so if you take 1615 from yeah. 2020, okay, I right? Mean, so that's that's a 405. Mean, so if you, if you take wait, if you take wait, wait. 1619, so 15 is five less. 2019, so 400 years. So 15 is five less than 20. Okay, 1619 mm -hmm. to 2019. Four hundred years. Yes. This is twenty twenty. Yes, this is but this was sixteen fourteen. No, it's fifteen fifteen. Sixteen so if you, oh, you fifteen was sixteen fifteen. Fifteen minus twenty is five. Yeah. All right. And sixteen minus twenty is four. So twenty twenty minus five is four. Yeah. Right? And sixteen minus twenty is four. That's four hundred and five years. That's offhand mm -hmm. that's offhand mm -hmm. math right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was thinking other way instead of us. Uh, I was doing a little subtracting there, because that's cool, 1615 is longer than 1619. I say 1619 was 400 years, which it is, mm -hmm. from, and then minus four, and I said minus four, but it should have been adding four. Yes. You get me? Yeah. Uh, well, my mistake, my error was. No, I just did it. You know, we're not, we're not gonna we're not gonna harp on it. Yeah. This is not the math. This is yeah. not the math ranking show. We're not doing long I, division. I, I never was much in math in the first place, so <laughs> we can kind of overlook that. You know, I, it's overlooked that. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Okay. What do you think, though? I mean, it's not bad. I think it's 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 enjoyable. I can't. I, it's it's a vague taste. Remember, reminded me of a beer. I've had before, but I don't you quite remember. It's, it's pretty much like Beck. Last week's Beck. That might be it. Pretty close. That me. might be. That might be it. It, 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 just, it just tastes familiar. It just tastes very familiar. Yeah, it's, it could be like last week. Cause mm -hmm. I could, most of the, um, to me, basically, most of that beer from you know Germany and Holland and et cetera, et cetera, mm -hmm. uh, Kind of the aftertaste is about the same, you know, it mm. kind of go down pretty smooth, you know. Mm. And, uh, so we had some back, and then the week before that, we had some Heineken, so we might be got that European aftertaste, we, right. which make us recognize what we're drinking, huh? No, no, definitely, definitely. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. What was the first time you had this? What, were you, what, what was that? Well, you should drink it. Um, I, yeah, I can't remember. You mean the last time I had one? No, like, when was the first time you had it? Like, when was like, man, this is good? Oh, oh I don't know. It's been years ago, years ago, at least 20 years I've had some. Well, what was happening 20 years ago? Go down memory lane for us. Yeah, I said, but I can't, I can't pinpoint no year. I'm just guessing it was about 20 years ago when I used to drink it along with Beck and St. Paul is and all that, you know, European beer or something. Mm -hmm. Assuming about 20 years ago, so I, I, I can't hardly remember it, except I knew I had some before, so okay. going down memory lane kind of rough when I can't remember. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, while we're drinking, I remember you said you wanted to bring up some type of history during the show or something. Oh, oh yeah, history. Yeah, well, I don't know. I have to... Oh. No, I know what I was going to, uh, the history was, wasn't exactly, yeah, I was saying it was. Uh, our government, sometimes we say, we we in debt, you know, uh, what, $22 trillion in debt, et cetera, et cetera. That's a, that's a high number. I don't know the exact number. <laughs> yeah, was, uh, somewhere up there. Mm -hmm. And I was saying, you know, the, the question is always for social programs or how we're going to pay for it, you know. Mm. And I was thinking along the lines that um, when World War II, and we got into the war in World War II, everybody said, well, how are you going to pay for it, you know? Mm -hmm. but, with that, but when everybody got together and went to pitching in, they had scrap drives, paper drives, um, 
They sold defense bonds. Mm -hmm. But they, what I'm saying, is there was a way to pay for it. Mm -hmm. So if we run into social programs, we shouldn't have to ask how we're going to pay for it but to tighten up our boots and go to work on paying for it, you know. You 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 follow what I'm saying? Yeah, you're saying that back then people just kind of did it, kind of got and did it right. They just so got I'm, behind it. Yeah, right now we shouldn't. We we should. We ask, when you ask how the question to pay for it, people get behind it. If it if it called that for certain social programs, it called for everybody else to give another dollar, another fifty cent, mm -hmm. and we do it. You know, it called for somebody to give another three or four dollars. But the thing is, it can be done. So what, what what makes you think of this? What what brought this? This up. Oh, you know, I was talking about um, uh, living wages, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying with the, uh, we wonder about the, it's going to be too costly, this and that, and that health care is going to be too costly. But I'm saying we should have a, 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 a living wage for everybody where it shouldn't, no matter what, those things are sacred. <clears throat> And we should be able to have the health care for everybody because uh, unless, unless you can go through some of that, you really don't get that feeling what it's like not to have no health care, you know. Hmm. Uh, are you with me? No, listen, I, I know. I mean, I'm in that respect. I was talking about history. Like I was thinking about back in the 30s, you know. Uh, I might be... Uh, uh, I kind of don't even have the word for it, but I'll say this, I remember in the 30s when people didn't have no health care, you know, mm -hmm. the things that when you, uh, home remedies done it, you know, right? and right. certain things, home remedies don't cure, you know, so right. you wind up with a problem the rest of your life because you weren't able to go to the doctor at mm -hmm. the right time, you know, mm -hmm. and so now, you know, uh, it, sh it shouldn't be like that, you know, it should be that you should be able to get immediate care just like everybody else, you know. Right. So that's why I'm, you know, I'm kind of like for the national health care. It doesn't, it, okay, I'll put it like this. Uh, I'm retired, so I got the mm -hmm. health care, I got the Medicare with the 65, you know. Mm -hmm. But then again, you got some people, man, who desperately need health care, mm -hmm. and they can't afford it. Mm -hmm. There's something wrong with that picture, you know. What do you do for that? Huh? What do you do for that? I, the same thing I was talking about doing the war. You pitch in and you do something about it. If you say how but you go, if you say how you're going to pay for it, then if if it comes to that, you got to put some money, extra money. But you're you're relying on people out of the goodness of their heart wanting to do that. Like people shouldn't. No, but that shouldn't be for the goodness. It was it's a necessity, you know. Just like World War Two, it wasn't for the goodness of your heart. It was something that had to be done because. You are in a war for survival, right? Mm -hmm. well, hey, same thing with health care. There's a survival there, you know, for everybody. I, I think it's. I think what you're equivalenting it to is a little different. Okay. Like war, war. When people think war is like a definite. Like if I don't help with this, I'm going to die immediately. When people think health care, they're like, no. I'm, the, I, I, in my opinion, yeah, okay. People will think. Again, this is my opinion okay. that. Hey, if, if I'm taking care of myself, if I'm in shape, that's on me. Like, you know, what I, why I got to help other people? Yeah, but you know what I mean? A lot of times take care of themselves. Yeah, a lot of times you can't take care of yourself. <sighs> Say again? A lot of times you can't. You may, if you got a, if you got a job mm -hmm. and you had health care and you lose your job, mm -hmm. and then you lose your health care, right? Mm -hmm. Is that your fault? If I lose my job, and then I lose my health care? Right. Until you can get some other means of work. What's right? this? Well, I mean, if I lost my job, depending on the circumstances, that might be my fault. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it is. But if... That's 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 a deeper question. Like, are you saying that your, your I, health care shouldn't be tied to your employment? To my employment? To your employment. Like, because your job and, and your health care... You know, are you saying no, you, should, you should have national health care regardless? So you should have health care regardless if you're employed. Yeah, if you are, if you are, if you're unemployed, you still you should have. That's what I'm health. saying. You should have health care regardless. Regardless, of right? Regardless. Yeah. Right. Okay. And so you know, until you get over the rough spots and you get back in, like I was saying about 
they were saying how you're going to pay for it, you know. It so you're saying like, you're saying like, kind of like how there's unemployment where like if you're unemployed, you file for unemployment, you get some money to help you get along to you get your next job. There you go. So there should be, there should be like a healthcare where you get along to you be able to there pay you for go. yourself again. There you go. But like, it's, it's that, how do you stop stop it from being people cheating the system? Like, do you want... Well, you, you, no, there's always going to be a, some people cheating the system. This is what you got to get around. Mm -hmm. From the top to the bottom, somebody's always cheating. Mm -hmm. Just like I was saying, though, I'm going to give you an example of what I was talking about. Like, as far as, I want to take uh, the unions, for instance. Okay, Jimmy Hoffa had the Teamsters, right? Mm -hmm. We know he was getting money off the top. But everybody up under the bottom said, I'm doing all right. <laughs> I got health insurance and I got a good wage and all that. So they got money so they could overlook mm -hmm. that little bit that's coming off the top. Because it was a little bit when you said about the, the Teamsters, you know. I mean, that's my that's well, Weren't they thought, also you know. loaning money to the mob, too? Huh? I, I saw that Irishman movie. <laughs> well, you know, you know, maybe you said loaning money to the mob. Maybe he was part of the mob. You know, but I'm saying this, there's corruption everywhere. You show me where the, just look at the, the uh, uh, what was it, a senator, representative from New York uh, who got called inside trading, you know, that corruption, you know, we can't stop all of it, but we can kind of keep it on an even keel where everybody ain't so, doing it. So you're know. saying, except th there will be corruption, but just make sure it's not too much corruption. Or try to keep a handle on the corruption. Keep a handle on corruption. But you're not going to never stop. Never, that. okay. If you, if you go back, you can't show me a period in time when there wasn't corruption. If you can, so I don't try, know so try to So try to do the greatest good you can. Yeah, there you go. What I'm saying, though, is let's not decide on how we're going to do it, but do it. How are we going to pay for it? We'll pay for it. We're going to get together as a, as, as a country, as a people, and we're going we're gonna to take care of this situation. But, like the, the, but again, like as a country, you got to get people to agree on that. You know what I mean? Like back then, like I said, war is a separate thing. Yeah, like man, people, are, people, when you're thinking like, really, man, if we don't support this, well, we're going to lose our, our entire lifestyle going to change. No, you can't get 100% of the people to agree on it. But you, that's what you've got your legislature. That's what this democracy is all about. you got your Congress and you got your Senate. They make the decision. You get enough people. All you got to do is get the better half of fifty uh, or, or the majority of the people for that program. You don't have to have everybody, mm. and you even put it into law. And this is what we have now with the health care, you know, mm. and Medicare. You know, everybody <laughs> went for help for Medicare, but I'm thankful. I don't know they, that, but I'm thankful for the, that they got it though. You know. No, I, I understand. Yeah. That's, that's good. That's an yeah, interesting way of looking at it. Medicare, you know, and and I'm what I'm thinking. I'm thinking in terms of that shouldn't be an issue for health care because I got it. Mm -hmm. Everybody should be able to have health care. You know, mm -hmm. when if you got a if you got a child that's got a major problem and you don't have no health care, and so you prevent put off taking him to get this the help care that he need because you ain't got the money. That ain't right, you know. Mm -hmm. you, if, if he got a major problem, you should be able to take him to the doctor, you know. Because if no, if, if you don't, that little problem that he had, it could have been corrected. It keeps developing, getting bigger and bigger, you know, until, hey. And then, and then they go to the doctor and he said, hey, you should have came earlier. You know, I can't help you now. <laughs> no, I understand that. that, that that's that's yeah. more preventative care, though. Huh? That's more of a preventative care step. Like well, because it becomes more expensive, like you said, if you don't fix it. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm saying, but you know, a lot of times you won't even. Here's the thing: about it, you won't even take your child. Say, for instance, if you think that it's something minor, mm -hmm. instead of having it looked at, you might pass it off and do a little home cure, and then until something it gets too big, then you take them to the doctor, and then all of a sudden you got a major problem when it was, when it was a minor problem. Yeah, that's true. Oh well, that's just my thinking. That's mm -hmm. old man thinking. No, I mean, it's, but I see so much, you know, like it's, it's it's good for us to have. I mean, you just gotta get people to agree on what they're willing to do and what they're willing yeah. to spend. Because it's not it's not just you and me. There's tons of people who who have different thoughts and feelings on it, and we can't force them. Well, let me rephrase that. There has to be enough people on your side for it to be. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and you're gonna and you're gonna have enough people too because that's what's happening now. That's why we have um the healthcare we program we got now. Mm -hmm. 
Because you got more, you got the majority of the people that want it, you know. If you got 75% that want it, you should be able to get some legislation to get that passed. You know? no, so I understand. I agree with that. I don't know. But anyway, that's my thing about health care. I, I, uh, I don't know. I see back, like I said, back in the 30s, it was a, the health care was different, you know. And the doctors were basically... Uh, in the community, you know. Mm -hmm. In other words, uh, I could live here and the doctor could be put down, down the street, you know, with his practice on his back porch, you know. They still have that in some I, places. They still have that in some places. I'm saying that. Yeah, like, I know uh, I heard. <laughs> I was yeah. talking to somebody recently. They were talking about how they, uh, you know, they didn't have the money to get some, some dental work done. So they, they knew somebody who knew somebody who oh, did yeah. some dental work in their house. So, I mean, that's, that's, oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. you know, that's not unheard of, you know yeah. what I mean? But that's, I don't know, that, that's, that's the way it is right now. Yeah. You know, it's, it's kind of funny, though. Everybody looks at something from a different perspective, you know. <clears throat> but if you experience something, if you experience something when you eight or nine years old, seven years old, you remember that when you were 100 years old. Oh, I agree. And, and you sympathize with those who are in that position you might have, that you were in, you know, 50, 60 years ago, you know. Yeah, so yeah, definitely. Like, whatever, whatever childhood. But if somebody never experienced it, they don't even know how it is, you know. There's something, there's something to that. Like, childhood trauma or childhood experiences definitely do shape you for the rest of your Just life. For the rest of your life, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Well, let me see. What do you what do you think the final beer ranking of this is? It was it was moving on up there. You know, I, I'm gonna go and say five point seven five, almost getting close to a six. Almost what do you, what a do you six. Think? What do you think? I, I'll agree with that. You know, it's good. Yeah, it's five point seven five. Let's just let's just call it a six. Call it a six. Let's just call it a six. Okay, six will be it. Yeah. No, yeah, no argument there. Yeah, well, that's this week's episode. I think this is episode thirty-one. I don't know. Okay, I don't remember them. We having them many. Oh, we got a new subscriber. We got thirty-seven subscribers. <laughs> we have. Yeah, we're Say, hello thirty-seven subscribers. We're moving on up. <laughs> um, let's see. All right. Well, uh, you, what are you thinking about for next week? Before mm -hmm. we wrap this up, what are you thinking about for next week? You're just gonna just pick a random beer. We're just. I think we're on a random beer thing with the stuff we haven't drank before. We're mm -hmm. gonna just keep doing it. Um, I guess we'll have a new topic for next week. We're kind of changing the format of the show. We're gonna still do beer ranking, but Grandpa wants to do some some history, maybe some current events, whatever. Yeah, I like yeah. it. You know, at one time right here in the United States, like I say, during World War II, there was a different. For once, it seemed as though we were united as a as a country. You know, mm -hmm. we were really united. I mean, like I said, they had paper drives and people were buying defense stamps and uh, buying defense bonds if you could afford it. You know, but it was it was like we was all in the same boat. You know. Uh, yeah, I can understand that. So, uh, so I was saying, you know, they didn't say what they, they didn't ask what how they gonna afford it. <laughs> they just went, they just went out there and started affording it, you know. That is <laughs> started affording it. Okay. All right. Well you gonna give them a signed off sign off, Grandpa? Yeah, I mean see the sign off would be um till till next week. Yeah, do better than that. You gotta do a little bit better than that. Okay. Uh, see you next week. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you. Here. You'll see us next week. <laughs> see us. <laughs> don't forget. Oh yeah, we gotta say. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share and all that. We're trying to build the numbers up, people. You guys have a good one. <laughs>